Volunteers at a local horse rescue say they're being evicted by the monks and the nuns who own the land. Well, they have 90 days to get out of the property. It's located here just east of the 15. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty explains the controversy in a place known for serenity. High caliber horse rescue works just like any animal adoption service, essentially saving these horses' lives. How close was this horse to being slaughtered? Uh, we got Harley 11 hours before the slaughter truck picked up. Michelle Cochran built this place from the ground up. Ground she borrows from her neighbors. This gate leads to the Deer Park Monastery. When the rescue opened six years ago, it started small, only about a dozen horses. Well, now they have more like 60. It was success that the people who ran the place surely didn't expect, and they think the same can be said for the monastery who owns the land. For it to have grown that drastically in the last few years, um, takes a little bit of getting used to, and so I, I see where they're coming from. I just wish that we had a little bit more notice. The notice was an eviction notice for these horses, all of them. I tried to talk to the people in the monastery, but the intercom was broken at the gate and the phone lines were closed for the day. We knew that we were outgrowing this facility, but we certainly weren't looking to move anytime soon. How soon is posted on the horse rescue website, taking away a second at a time before success stories like the ones in these pictures may have to be put on hold. We will do anything for these horses and we've proven that time and time again. And, and this is no different. We're going to uh, we're going to do what it takes to get these horses safe. Dan Haggerty, 10 News. You're beautiful. The high caliber horse rescue has until September to find a new home. If they don't, they're looking for temporary places to keep the horses they care for now.